Monster, Episode 2 He looks at you and smiles. What a weird smile, you think to yourself, but you find yourself liking his smile. Although he was wearing the same thing as all the other players, you can't help but feel like he did a much better job pulling it off than the others. I'm Bachira. Nice to meet you, Ayan, he says. So, I guess you're our babysitter. I'm not your babysitter. You say, I'm your nurse, so if any of you guys get hurt, you point at all the other team Z players. You guys come to me, and I'll take care of your wounds. Well, it's a good thing that our nurse has already arrived. Igarashi here seems to have a problem with his leg. Kunigami motioned towards a short kid who was bent over at his ankle. You push past the other people to get a closer look. You take a kneel down in front of him. Take your hand away. I need to be able to see our ankles to decide if there's a problem. Silently, the kid drew his hand back, and you started working. First, you tapped his ankle. Does it hurt? Yeah. I... I think you just twisted your ankle then. I'll just... You hefted his feet into the air, and then you slapped it hard. Oh, what was that for? Igarashi stared at you accusingly. Fixing your ankle? Duh. You stare back at him. You get up and survey the others. Anyone else? I think we're all good. Kunigami said after a moment of silence. A few of them seemed a little shaken by what you had just done. But, uh, do you know anything about Blue Lock right now? Like, what we're supposed to do? You shake your head. Sorry, but I'm as clueless as you guys are about this Blue Lock thing. I have heard you guys will be playing games against the other teams, though, really soon, too. That's why I was hired, to treat your wounds if you guys get any injuries during the game. Well then, Bachira said, and you froze a bit. You taken his childlike features, like his bob cut. It was kind of cute, though, and soft. You had to hold yourself back from patting him on the head. Bachira wasn't very tall. As the handbook said, he was 176 centimeters. But he still had to look down at you to see you. I agree. A blue-haired boy appeared next to Bachira. Isaki Yoichi, another player that you recognized. If we want to win and prove ourselves, we have to practice. Wait, what are you guys going to do? You say in a panicked tone, as you realize you had missed on what Bachira had suggested. We are going to go practice. Do you know where we can do that? Bachira looked over at you with his golden eyes, and for a while you forgot to speak. Wagon, what are you doing? Speak, you don't even know this guy. Why are you acting like this? Thankfully, Ego saved you the embarrassment by appearing on a big screen. Welcome, diamonds in the rough. (laughs) Fast forward to the game because nobody wants to hear what Yuko has to say. Um. Everybody get ready, Kuan says as you watch from the sidelines. Apparently, you were also partially the referee, as you could catch things that the camera couldn't. But you couldn't bother yourself with such confusing work, so you thought you should just do what you signed up for, and treat the wounded players. The first opponents were from Team X, and you couldn't help but notice one particular player from Team X. Shoe Baro. A voice next to you says, You jump back in astonishment and see a girl around your age wearing the same uniform. Another nurse. I'm Namari Kyoka. You can call me Kyo. Uh, why in? I saw you looking at Bato. He's pretty huge, isn't he? She looks at you with purple eyes. Yeah, I'm a little worried. 
I don't want them to play too rough. I'm scared that I won't be able to help them if the injury is too deep. You furrow your brows as the bot announced the kickoff. Don't worry, I think we're also entitled to being their babysitter, so we can punish them if we see fit. If any of my team decides to play rough, I'll make sure they receive the proper punishment. So, we are their babysitters. You mutter to yourself. Yeah, Keo says, her voice wandering off. Battle! She suddenly shouted. You snapped your focus back onto the field and see the big guy make a shot toward the goal. Team Z's goalie was unable to block his shot. Goal! Keo screamed in excitement, throwing her hands into the air. Somehow, you felt humiliated. The second round began, and Team Z started with the ball. However, they were all bunched up together, like as if each individual was fighting by themselves and not in a team. What are they doing? You thought to yourself. You and Kyo stood by the side as you watched Team Z's goalies miss another of Bato's shots. Whoa, goal! Kyo screamed louder in a much more excitement. She ran over to her team to cheer with them. She must have been a big fan of soccer to be so hyped up about it. Or maybe she was just the encouraging type of person. Maybe. Come on, Team Z. Don't embarrass me. You better win. You yell as loudly as you can at your team. You see Bachura glancing over at you and... Was he smiling? At you? You felt your face go red, and at the worst time possible, Kyo noticed. Wayan, are you okay? Are you blushing? Do you already have a crush? Jeez, so many questions. But it wasn't like she was wrong either. N no, you say a little defensively. It's not like a guy like him would notice a girl like you based off his personality. Bachita must have been popular and well-liked in school. As the game went on, you saw no hope for your team. None of them seemed interested in playing together. By the time the other team had five points, Team Z still hadn't figured their teamwork out yet. By the last few minutes, you couldn't believe if any of them were going to get a shot. You watched as Isagi passed the ball to Bachida and ran ahead. What was he trying to do? As Isagi ran, Bachida passed it to him, flying over the heads of the players. And they were playing together as a team. Isagi soon found himself in front of the goal with Kunigami and another guy to the side. He was stuck. Then, in the nick of time, he passed to Kunigami. Kunigami shot, and with his powerful kick, the ball flew through the air and passed the goalie. They had managed to score a point. Yeah, Team Z! You kept clapping and cheering along with everyone else until you heard a yell. You quickly look over to Bachira, sitting on the grass. Sensing something was wrong, you immediately ran over. Was he hurt? Did something happen to him? Panicked thoughts raced through your mind as you thought of all the possible things that could have happened. I should have taken more care of him. I was too busy watching the game. I hadn't realized I had just been distracted from my job. Bachira, Bachira, are you okay? You kneel over to his level. What happened? I tripped. He said. He glanced up at you. But don't worry. I'm okay. There were scars on his shin. Like a cat's scratch. You were worried for him. Can you walk? You asked. You helped Bachira to his feet. And thankfully he could still walk. Yeah, I can. But, um... He seems skeptical to ask me something. You think to yourself, Do you, do you have any medicine you could apply to help me heal my wound? He said it in a scared, quiet tone. Was he not used to asking for help or? Yeah, don't worry about it. Come to my room and I'll help you with it. I'll give you a checkup too, just in case. Then you turned to everyone. Are you guys feeling okay? I think we're good, thanks. Isagi said, All right. Time skip. You helped Bachira onto your bed, as that seemed to be the only place he could sit. 
you were going to ask Ego for some chairs. I'm sorry about the lack of furniture. They said everything would be provided for me. Don't worry about it. Baichida came in smiling as he seemed so cute with it. You rummaged around until you found the right medicine. You grabbed a swab and knelt down in front of him. He had changed into his pajamas, as it would have been nearly impossible to apply the medicine onto him if he had been wearing the default blue lock suit. So, why do you apply for this job? Bachida said suddenly, a conversation, huh? I needed money. Besides, it seemed like fun. I was going to come here with a friend, but they rejected her. What about you? Why did you accept this position at Blue Lock? I've always liked soccer, ever since I was six. You glanced up to him, looking back down at you. It had always been my dream to make it big. I was interested in this Blue Lock thing, so I came. The eye contact you guys made became a little awkward, with both of you blushing before looking away. As you worked on this shin, you kept the conversation with him going. I saw that pass on the field. It was amazing. Did you play a lot with your friends? Suddenly, Bachida didn't seem so happy as he had stopped grinning. Bachida, what's wrong? Did I say something? You started to worry as he wasn't meeting your eyes either. You had finished his shin and was now sitting on the bed next to him. Bachira, please tell me what's wrong. He still didn't want to speak, but you could tell something was bothering him. After a few more moments of silence, he spoke. I... I don't have any friends. You were a bit taken aback. You didn't understand why such a fun and lovable person like Bajira didn't have any friends. But you knew he didn't need to hear that. He didn't need people to tell him that he didn't deserve this because they probably knew what he needed right now was a friend. So, with a leap of faith, you said, I'll be your friend, Bajira. Welcome, diamonds. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, wait. I can do this. I can do this. Okay. I can't do this. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I cannot. Okay, hold on. Welcome. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh, I can do this, I swear. Hold on. I cannot do this with a straight face. <laughs> um, welcome, Diamonds in the Rough. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, wait. <clears throat> yeah, so. <laughs> Insert my freaking out about ego link right here. Or do it before this, I don't know. My voice is so horrible. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> my throat is getting pretty better, but I think I'm gonna I'm coming down with a fever, which is pissing me off. I hate the changes of the seasons. They're so annoying. I always get really sick around that time. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and um I hope I'll be able to see you guys tomorrow. If not, just know that I will try my best to get one the next day. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> yeah, um, have a good evening, have a good morning, have a good afternoon, whenever you are. And I will see you guys maybe tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone.